smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. You smelling it? You like the way it smells? Yeah. coffee maker today we get to try um, the new wave bra hub three-in-one coffee maker this is exciting because it takes the curex K um, K cups and then it takes the um, I forgot how you call it the blended coffee or something like that how you call it the beans that are already made and then it'll give us um, water for hot tea is in as seen in TV product and it is the first one that has this made out of glass instead of um what's it called metal in and out is three in one it's gonna replace that coffee maker that we cannot show that's right there yep. and we're excited because we actually get to yeah. taste other coffee that's not um only k cups because that's what we're currently currently <laughs> using right now <laughs> the coffee is not that big the coffee maker is not that big and i didn't mean this this is plastic it's the um little thing inside i forgot the name i have to google it for you guys but this is the carafe but the good thing is that you could either make a whole carafe or it comes with a little thing for you to get only one cup of that coffee so like you see there it says the heated glass chamber eliminates the metallic taste so the other coffee maker brands have like metal this one is glass um we're excited because we love coffee and it's promises to have it tasting richer and stronger and look we select the optimal brewing temperature for coffee of and types of teas and coffees this is what I mean. When it brews, you could either brew a full carafe or you could get the single serve because it has that special little thing that will make sure that it only brews a single cup because sometimes you don't want to brew that whole carafe, but you still want a nice hot cup of brewed coffee. So I'm excited about this part especially. This does have its um it has the filter thing that I can't find it right now. And then it comes with the little filters to replace. So um they should be replaced. I know we replace the other ones every three months. So if it's properly done like that. This is the one that helps you choose if you're going to do the whole cafe or you put the cup for a single um, brewed cup of coffee. This is for the entire one. This is the filter one where we're going to put the filter in. You know when it's you, you have to leave it for like five minutes or something. And then it does come with a scooper because my husband was wondering and asking if it came with a little scooper and it does so it's even better to help you measure in case you don't have one already this is the little corner the little tray where we usually put the coffee maker and we're gonna see because it's not that big it looks big but it's not it's a nice regular size coffee maker this is where we're gonna put the filter and we just open it like that and we're gonna fill the filter in there close it and then put it back in the coffee machine in the bro hub brew hub or bra hub you guys know me and my pronunciation i think is the brew hub so the filters this is how it fits in the little corner and it fits perfectly on our little storage this is where we keep our k cups so it fits there perfectly inside and now we're gonna put the filter in the machine he puts it up there so this is the little sprout that um, promises to only get the hot water out because sometimes with other coffee makers you want hot water and you'll get like pieces of the coffee you did before but this one has a separate sprout so you'll get only hot water and no flavored coffee at all so that's exciting also I'm excited to try this I love when you get a machine that's 3-in-1 and actually works the way it's supposed to and we love coffee here so we're excited. And this is new you guys, we're doing all of this for the first time so it's like we're doing it live. So we're turning it on, you could hear it turn on. Let's see how fast it is because sometimes we have one that the one we currently have will take like a minute 
un minuto, like a minute to warm up. It's so gross. So slow. Can you hear? Yeah. <laughs> Stop making noise. It says still preheating. Todavía está. It's still red. So it still means it's preheating. But I mean, we could start. What are we going to do first? Are we going to brew or are we going to do a K cup? Which one first? We decided to go first with the um, cup of brewed coffee. Where is the. It's right here. We're excited because we get to try the Trader Joe's brewed coffee. I can't wait! You can't wait! So here, this is the little, um, for the cup of root coffee, and here inside, you can see, yeah, there it is, it, it says Max. Valentina says this is a little garbage can, but it's not, you guys, it's a little brewer thing for a like cup a of coffee. Can. Okay, so this is, it says up to their maximum, that's where we're gonna fill it up to. And then when we go on here, you could pick 8 or 12 ounces of the half carafe or the full carafe, oh, but we're only gonna do a cup of joe a cup of coffee so we're gonna pick the 12 ounces I so fill it. it up a special mechanism when you close it up it has the little thing there that says on um, locked or not locked so you switch it that way and unlocks it and you open it if you switch it that way it locks it so that's the thing and then you put the little thing in there the little thing I keep on saying is the little brewing cup and we put it in the make sure it clicks Now pick the press there. Yeah, I was forgetting the mug. How smart of me! I guess we press that one. Brew. Oh, we could pick the temperature. One seventy-five. What temperature? But check out what temperature we want to do. One eighty-five. Okay, we're gonna put brew. And there it goes. to check this one we could for the coffee we could also pick whether we want a regular bold or iced made a little beep <laughs> that i missed but when it makes the beep then your coffee's ready this is what the 12 ounces looks like then we're just gonna have to have somebody taste it i'll taste it you're gonna have to taste it i'll, taste it. I'll taste it you don't know what I'm Okay, so we put the coffee and stuff. This is the one we're trying, the espresso blend. It could be us, the coffee that we and made. It could be that we didn't put bold. It could be that we put not that many, um, that much of the coffee in. But it is a little bit light. It's a little bit more like water than coffee. So this one for us right now was a fail. We're going to try in a little bit. But first we're going to try with the cake cups because... That's gonna, with this, it could have been like it's our first time making the brewed coffee that, you know, you put uh, way too little of the brewed coffee and not enough of it. So we're gonna test with the K-cup and that's really gonna tell us if it's a fail or not. So one thing we can tell you is that you really smell the coffee right now with um, this one. So like I said, with the brewed coffee, it's just getting a hang of it and knowing how much coffee to put in it. So that's on our side and not the brew hub, the brew hub, brew hub, bra hub, because you really smell the coffee right now. Smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it. You smelling it? You like the way it smells? Yeah. Tina's here in the um, kitchen trying out the coffee with us and one thing that she noticed with this what did you notice with this one? It was very dark. It was darker. It was the K-cup. You could see that it's darker, but it could also be that we did um, 
bold instead of regular so my husband said we should have tried regular to see but i mean the other one we saw how it looked you guys heard the beep that means it's done but so we did the cake cup with bold does it smell like coffee now yes yeah it smells better now you gotta taste it you gotta put sugar and taste it it's really smell like coffee it's still no it doesn't look that light right it looks mm -hmm. little you could see it looks darker yeah, yeah you can see. hot water right now. For that one, I think we have to take out the whole thing and we put this one in. Uh huh. Now we put this one, and then we're just gonna get hot water. We close it. It does have little black particles. Hmm. Maybe it was dirty. I don't know. We'll have to try that again. But it did come out with little black particles. Throwing the um a cup of gel one more time to see how it comes out again. Fill it up to the max. Hasta donde está la línea es more. Fill it up more. Is it to the line? Hasta ahí. Max. No, it's a max. So just make sure we fill it up. Up to the max, and for easy storage, we're just gonna leave the scooper in this thing, the cover right here. Has the little lock. guys hear that music is Valentina. So we're gonna put that in Put it there. We put it bold this time. So this time we're gonna try testing it with eight ounces of water. Eight instead of twelve. And we're gonna do it bold. Okay, we'll and hopefully it won't taste that watery. Hoping to get a trick. I like that this is uh, one height because sometimes it's too high and you have to remove the piece in order for the carafe to fit. But this one is fine, so no need to remove this. Just fits with that inside. Before it took longer, right now it's doing it faster. Hmm. Still is light. It's looking a little bit darker than before. That's good. And you can see more bubbles. Well, well un poco, it smells a little bit stronger. Yeah. yeah. Poquito más. A little bit. We won't lie to you guys. We will tell you the honest truth. Okay, we're not lying. So we want to make sure when we share product with you guys, it's something that we like, something that we enjoy, and something that we really do recommend. So, but like I said, the brewing coffee can be tricky because you have to be sure of how much of the um coffee you put in how much water you ask for and everything because so it's not always the machine's fault new wave brew hub i'm not blaming you but we gotta taste it so if i'm not tasting coffee it's because it's late night okay guys so final thing is it tastes like <laughs> i don't want to say it. it tastes like it tastes bad it does not taste like coffee it's really watered down but at this point we're not blaming the machine because we did try the cake cup and the cake cup came out really good it came out like you can see the mug because my husband finished the coffee already um but the cake cup came out perfect so we're blaming this this is not working we will get another bag and we will do the uh, next one so give me this is gonna have two parts and we're gonna try it out how it comes out with the other coffee but this is no good so right now the brood part will say it's 50 50 because i can't say if it's the machine or that but we will see